Uh, Surrounded by judgments and hard-pressed opinions, I suffocate in this picket fence box. I need holes cut. This is the suburbs, encased in segregation, stale air, and entitlement. The weight of these city walls bear down on me and entraps me. Prozac smiles, catching eyes with Botox interest. The silicone tits have less liberty than the clinch libo asses. All held together in a tight little pair of yoga pants, spandex, artificial images. You smell the screaming brought to you by Xanax. I live in a bubble. Oh. Incubated like John Travolta in a crappy 70s movie. As uh -huh. if you got severe combined immune deficiency, that diversity, one touch of color in your bubble, and it's over. I'm over this. Where your biggest problem is dog shit on your lawn? Well, hey, I was just about to pick it up, but if there's still a problem, I can smear it on your walls. And then maybe you'd get out of your California king-size throne and see that the rest of the world isn't as neat and tidy as you'd like it to be. It doesn't fit inside this box we've made. When is this before when it pops? So I can scream, wake up to the strangling street of suburban that's now out of this daydream suburb. You've infected me. There's a parasite beneath the plastic perfection. Your social ladder would be rotten as we're soaked in your negative discharge. It's ready to crumble. Now I'm ready to crumble. I've been infected by the clean. Eating away at my brain like syphilis. These seemingly sterile streets are just crawling with disease. Homogenized spilt milk sprawled and going more mold with the past day. Seeming week, seeming month, seeming decade. Wrapped up in this emotional hierarchy, all becomes disingenuous. The community is nothing but a buffer for news of thinking. You're all separate but identical. You're alone. I'm alone. The forced sterilization just made me sicker. Broaden my horizon only to narrow my experience. Tried to starch and bleach my mindset with a privilege was mine. See, I've been damaging reverse with my false contention, shallow needs, and when I look into the mirror, I shudder because the pale blue face I see isn't the person I want looking back at me. So I stare deep into my soul and analyze the scars that too many band-aids made. Brittle bones from being wrapped up in foam for too long. My attitude course is the hot asphalt my feet touch, an inferiority complex beaten into me. Suburbia whispers and resounds inside my body. I hear you, but I hate you, and I'm becoming what you wanted from me, but I'm crumbling. Indoctrinated into a culture of hate and exclusivity, but this lily white brand on my ass does not embody me. Woo! But I'm stuck in this box. I'm preserved in a jar, I'm preserved like a helpless fly. I live confined, I live in a coffin. Zombies surround me and they're hungry, but I'm stuck. I must escape this box, this jar, this coffin. I must tear down these institutions that lay inside of me. I must let light permeate this cave and illuminate this false reality. Enlighten me. Inhale and for once be able to breathe. For now, I sit in my own lacerating limbo, suspended between the forces of dark matter and gravity, and just hope that consciousness can rescue me.